Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial on the C++ programming series and in, th in this part we'll be looking at the relation and comparison operators. Two individual expressions can be com compared against each other using relation or, or equality operators for example to check if two values are equal to each other. The result of these types of operations is a boolean aka true or false stating if the condition was true or not. So let's just go ahead and open up our project and I'll show you how to implement these operators. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply get rid of this. Get rid of this as well. And there are a total of six operators that we're going to show you. The first one is the double equal, which is that which is basically checking if something is equal to something else. Next one is the not equal operator, which is obviously the opposite of this one. Just checking if something is not equal to something else values, variables and so forth. The next one is the less than to check if the value on the left is less than the value on the right. Next one I think you should be able to guess it is greater than which just checks if the value on the left is greater than the value on the right. The next one is less than or equal to which just checks if the value on the left is less than or equal to the value on the right. The operator after this one finally is greater than uh, or equal to. Just check if the value on the left is greater than or equal to the value on the right. So the first one, let's just go ahead and check this out. Let's go and do std c out. We're going to do another std and Line. Uh, and in here we're going to just do 5 double equals 6. 5 doesn't equal 6 obviously. Mm, this is moaning for some reason. Wait a minute, to overload it. There we go, let's put in brackets. Okay, so if we just run this, it put zero, aka false. But if we change this to a five, and now run it, it puts it to a one or prints out one simply because five does equal five. The next one we're going to be looking at is we'll just copy and paste it so it's a lot easier to implement and quicker. What it's going to do is five not equal to five, as it is equal to five, it will return zero. But if we put not equal to 98 it returns 1. Now I'm going to do the less than. Is 5 less than 5? No it is not. Is 5 less than 9? Yes it is aka hence why it's return 1. Now is 5 greater than 5? No it is not because it is equal to 5. But if we just change this to a 2 it could even be a minus number like minus 9 and it still comes up with 1 because obviously 5 is greater than minus 9. Then we're going to do is 5 less than or equal to 5 and now if we run it, it comes up as 1 because 5 isn't less than 5 but it is equal to. That's what this operator checks. And the next one we're going to check is is it greater than or equal to? one because though it's not greater than it is equal to just one quick thing to note before we go is this little operator here even a little bit with this one but mainly this one it's a double equal which is the comparison operator and a single equal is the assignment operator just try not to get them confused because getting them confused can cause issues um, obviously if you put a double equal instead of a single equal you'll just be comparing values and obviously if you accidentally put a double equal I mean you actually put a single equal instead of double equal instead of comparing two values or variables you'll actually be assigning a value and sometimes it'll just come it'll just come up as true because 
it, it's saying, yeah, the operation was true, it, it, it was fine, even though the actual if statement should have been false, or for example. But we'll look into stuff like if statements later on. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at logical operators. And thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.